my question is, um, how are progressives going to get into the national conversation in the media, and how are we going to get, get a new Congress? Well, PDA is one of those organizations that is working on the answers. There's no one answer to that question. You, you begin to hook up with organizations that figure that out. Uh, Code Pink has been very successful in getting into the papers, not always you know, constructively, but they've gotten attention to the issues, right? Like drones. Mm -hmm. So there are a variety of avenues that we're going to have to take that there's no one answer to the question. It's building organizations. It's start, you know, start with your family, right? And, and have a dinner table or a long distance conversation with them about what they're doing about all of this. Are they upset about it? And what are they doing about it? And if they don't know what to do, we have a list of organizations they can choose from. You know, that will give them ideas of what to do. What they can do is show up at a city council meeting and during public discussion say, this council was elected to serve the people of the city. Why aren't you demanding that Congress change the priorities so our city is not starving? We want you to advocate for us. And I, I guess I was thinking more of a national strategic campaign by progressives where the heavy duty intellectuals among the progressives get together and say, hey, let's form a, stra let's form a strategy that's really going to have an impact. Well, that's happening. You know, when, when, uh, when PDA holds a retreat, they're bringing together people like John Nichols, some of the political thinkers, you know, who are uh, in, in the know about the inside game, and they're also knowledgeable about outside. Uh, there was a meeting at Blue Mountain Center in upstate New York a week after the election of about 27 organizations that are looking, how do we begin working together? How do we figure out how to integrate our work, reinforce our work? We took a map and we said, all right, you show me where all of your, organ you know, your people are. We'll start mapping and saying, well, wait a minute, we've got people in the same city right, right, not right. talking Good. to each other. So now let's start putting them together. Yeah, because the left is famous for having little yeah. differences of opinion and right. pursuing your uh, individual agendas. Right. And we can come, now we have a reason for a strategic alliance because things are so dire and pulling together. You know. The other thing is that what Jack said at the end, a lot of organizations that have never, ever spoken out on the military question are now doing so. They have no choice. The money's going to come from somewhere. It's going to be their budget or the Pentagon. Budget. So they better open their mouths and say something. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. Immortalized. Art Persico. <laughs> Thank you, Art. No problem. I don't have time to read that's, my that's own. Right. It's about the